Welcome back to the White Void, where today we're doing something a little bit different. We haven't done anything about this franchise for years, I don't think. Uh, which is really bad, because it's a franchise I absolutely love and adore. Came to it late, didn't come to it early at all, wasn't really into it as a kid, as uh, when it was Action Force. But then it changed to G.I. Joe, and still wasn't that into it, and then got 20 years later... My buddy Jeremy, who used to do the, po the Back to the 80s podcast with me, he got me into it uh, 25 years later, I think it was, because uh, it was the 25th anniversary. So there we go. And recently, Hasbro have been doing stuff with G.I. Joe again. Uh, the movies haven't done so well. Um, the Snake Eyes movie didn't do very well at all, I don't think. Covid didn't help, but uh, never mind. Um, but they didn't really do anything with anything else either. But now they are bringing out old versions or new old versions shall we say so um from the retro uh versions of gi joe we have uh duke good old duke there that was stick up his ass uh lady J, who is my favorite female joe i love her she's great and probably one of my favorite characters in anything ever cobra commander don't they look lovely? They look brilliant. I love them. Um, I will still be taking them out of the packet, though. I may be getting ones to maybe put on a wall or something later on. But at the moment, I kind of want these out of the packet. So uh, we will be doing that. But let's have a look at the old-fashioned. Um, I say old-fashioned. It's new old-fashioned because it didn't look quite like this. But it looks enough, you know, for it to be valid. And uh, we've got the old box out there of Cobra Commander. Doesn't that look great? And he's in his packet looking old Cobra Commandery. It's a different head than was on the 25th anniversary. I wish I had a version I could sort of show you, but I don't. Um, he looks really good, doesn't he? Doesn't he look fantastic? And it's got all the ones that they're going to be bringing out. So there is Scarlet, there is Roadblock. Uh, Destro's coming out. Destro! Noble Destro! And uh, Cobra Commander's file card there. He is the enemy leader because, well, he kind of is. Uh, primary specialty intelligence, secondary specialty, uh, experimental weaponry, birthplace classified. Absolute power. Total control of the world. It's people, wealth, and resources. That's the object of Cobra Commander. And I've ruined my voice. Um, but yeah, they're not, they're not the best file cards because they've got sort of a million other languages on them. But, you know, that's the, that's, that's the continent uh, of Europe, I'm afraid. That's what we have to put up with. I know that doesn't make me a Brexiter, but um, there we go. But yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff. We'll, we'll put them to one side. We'll show you Duke. Duke very rarely smiling there, but never mind. He, he still looks pretty good. The facial recognition is picking it up, so it must be good. Uh, it's Shouty Duke we've got here. Look, Shouty Duke. I really like it. Looks really nice. Got a few other things. He hasn't got the uh, American flag that he had in the 25th anniversary version. Um, but no, it looks really good. Again, back of the box. Uh, Duke Key is a first sergeant. You always forget sort of the leader of G.I. Joe is a first sergeant, which, you know, not an officer. I guess that's why they brought Hawk in in season two, isn't it? Uh, but it's Conrad S. Hauser, um, airborne infantryman. Uh, he is artillery small arms armorer as well. He's born in St. Louis in Missouri. And he graduated top of his class at airborne school, commands by winning respect. I always liked Flint better, so I'm hoping that they bring Flint out later on. That would be nice. I know they're doing him in the retro version, but they don't do uh, this version. And this is the version that I would be... I don't know what they're calling these, sort of throwback. Uh, but this is the version that I would be sort of most interested in. Anyway, you have Lady J there. And Lady J looking very green in her packet there. I'm really appreciating that. It looks really nice. 
and she uh, again has all the other ones you can get and she is uh, Alison R. Hart Burnett that's a mouthful uh, role covert operations primary specialty is intelligence which they did in the show she was the spy uh, secondary specialty personnel clerk and she was uh, born in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts uh, an accomplished actress and mime as well as a studied uh, linguist she can easily pass as a native ooh, in many countries around the world that's a not a great word to use but never mind um yes in britain when it was action force she was irish i feel i, I get the feeling she was and i don't know where luke uh, duke was it luke i don't know where duke was from i think he was from london or something like that i do remember that flint was from a little village in lincolnshire um awesome i love it because action force they were all sort of international heroes rather than um just in america but uh, they do look really nice in the packets and like i say it's going to be a wrench to open them because they look so good but i think i'm going to and i think i'm going to do that now gi joe will return after these messages now back to gi joe so here we are all three duke cobra commander lady j let's go left to right and see what they look like um up close well duke has a very shouty face look here is duke's shouty face let's see if give him a detail on that there we go there's duke's shouty face look at him shouty face the helmet the helmet is the elephant in the room because the helmet cannot be put on by me at the least so that it doesn't look goofy so let us lose the helmet that's duke as he was appearing in the show pretty much shouty face no sense of humor all that stuff uh nice harness which is quite good I, I, you can take it off if you want to you don't have to have it on um green trousers um looks pretty much as he did in the show it has to be said um but really really nice lovely figure i i'm really enjoying it he does have duke arms though if you stress them too much they will pop off look i'll show you pop pop pop, pop. not even that much they come off this is something that happened in the 25th anniversary as well i mean it's very fixable they just pop back on but be careful because if you pull him in out of the box uh, out of the packet then what might happen is that you fling one of the arms up and you lose it for a while because that's what happened to me. Uh, it comes on a 25th anniversary stand, which is very nice. Duke on there, so they will stand up straight. Um, and he does have a gun, which fits in his holster there. Look, see, it fits in his holster. And it just generally looks like a very nice Duke figure. The, ca the colours are very cartoony. And I appreciate that because I came to the cartoon first. That's that's how I first came to G.I. Joe. So I do appreciate that. Very nice. We will move on uh, to uh, good old CC, Cobra Commander himself. And uh, yeah, I mean, apart from the helmet, it's pretty much the 25th anniversary Cobra Commander figure. I mean, I could be wrong. There might be loads of changes, but it looks pretty much the same to me. Um, and if it's one of those things of, uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He's got his weapon storage on the back there which is very nice that just pops off he's got a knife which fits in there i'm not going to take these out because i know what will happen if you take them out you lose them and his helmet comes off and like i say that that's pretty much how he appears in the comic at uh, some points isn't it just with that without a helmet but this is much more of a, a stylized german helmet than the one that you got in the 2000 uh, uh, era uh, of cobra commander but he's very very nice uh, again, comes with a stand with the Cobra logo on it there, which you can see, lovely stuff. Just a very nice, solid Cobra Commander figure, and I do like it a lot. And again, the colours are a bit brighter than maybe they are uh, usually, I think, because he's, he's definitely more sort of cartoon than, than anything else. And again, appreciate that, really love it, really nice. I'll put him here. I'll pop Duke's helmet over there with him. And very finally, Lady J who i've never had a proper figure off i've got a figure from sort of an original uh, real american hero one but i don't have a 25th so this is a bit of a treat if i'm being honest um again a face looks really good lots of detail there let's see if we can get that uh, a bit more focus 
there we go lovely stuff it's a really nice face uh, for Lady J I love the fact that she wears the black cap just really really nice and uh, lovely uniform really nice harness there she has a, a javelin gun which you know destroys eight hisses at a time with one javelin Look, watch the cartoon it does happen and just the just some lovely details and nice pouches and everything uh, a nice uh, packet on the back as well backpack and stuff just looks really really nice uh, she comes with a couple of weapons as well comes with this uh sort of heavy machine gun thing which is nice sadly none of this gets able to store on her um there's sort of a, a slight wash going on there as well especially on the uh, on the magazine but it looks really nice and she comes with this sort of submachine gun uh oozy type of thing it's not an oozy i realize that but this sort of submachine gun type thing that she had it's very nice not much there's lots of detail on it you just can't see any of it because it's black there we go Okay, really nice. Love it. But nowhere to store it, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. But uh, yeah, really, really nice, solid uh, Lady J figure. And again, cartoony colours. So let's put them all together. I would recommend these. If you were a G.I. Joe fan who likes this sort of thing anyway, maybe if you've got the 25th figures, maybe you don't need them. Or if you're a G.I. Joe fan, you probably do need them. I really like these. I think these are... A nice cool addition to have that they're sort of retro but not I'm a big fan of that kind of thing uh, especially with G.I. Joe you know so they're modern sensibilities but they look like the old figures yes please more of that put it in my eyes uh, where's my flint figure <laughs> I certainly want the Destro figure and the fucking Sergeant Slaughter yes please I have one but I can't take it out of the pack because it's like a Comic Con exclusive so I can't take that out but I would love one to take out because Sergeant Slaughter is awesome. Um, buy these if you're any kind of G.I. Joe fan. They are fun. Um, but that's it from me today. I will be back again with some video game stuff or some more action figures with something. Uh, but in the meantime, please do take care of yourselves and each other. Bye bye for now.